Hi students, welcome back for a new video from the chapter Indices, Cert and Logarithms. Okay, this is one of the interesting questions uh, posed by one of my students. So I'm here to explain and uh, give an idea for how to solve this question. Okay, let us move on to this question class. Okay, so this is the question given for us. If uh, you can see the whole, the entire equation here, okay. Okay, if all this show that uh, n equals to m plus 5. So we're going to solve this. We're going to solve this and equals to the n, n equals to m plus 5. So we're going to do this. Okay, ready? Okay, now, first thing is, let me explain about indices. Okay, so the most important in indices is we are able to change all the base, base, huh? base. For example, if you don't know what is the base means, let's say it is a and b. So this is, we call it base. So this is a base. And this one, we call it as indices, index, like index. We call it index, understand? So we want to change all the base, in, all the base into a same base, okay? So that is our, our motive or objective, we can say. Huh? To make our questions more easier, we, we will try to change all the base equal. Okay, so here is 81. Can you see 81 here? Okay, this is 3 and this is 9, this is 3 and this is 9. So if you can see all this number, so what I can see is we can change everything to the base 3. We can change everything to the base 3. Understand? Easiest base. Okay, and then uh, normally I will advise my students to go for the lowest base. The lowest base. The lowest is better. Understand? So we can go for the lowest base because if you look on top here, this is 81 and this is a 9. Actually, 81 can change to 9 square. Also can be done. No issue. But it's better for you to change everything to the base 3. Okay? So that's a number one rule. Okay, number two. Okay, please listen to this carefully, class. I think this one, if you, if you take, can take this one clearly, right? You can do a lot of questions without problems. Okay, in indices, in indices, Plus, minus, we have two different operations. One is plus, minus. Another one is times and divide. Okay, so make sure you understand these two different process slowly. Okay, for plus, minus, for plus, minus, for indices, we will try to use a factorized method. Listen, for plus, minus, for plus, minus, we will try to use a factorized method. Factorized, we will try to factorize. Okay, for times and divide, for times and divide, we will try to use, we will try to combine them, combine. Okay, listen carefully again one more time. For plus and minus, we will try to factorize, factorize. Okay, for times and divide, we will try to combine them. Okay, for times when you combine is going to be plus, a divide when you combine is going to be minus. So please put inside your mind because in this question, it's got two different ideas. Two different idea you can see on top is plus that means here sir going to factorize understand here i'm going to factorize the bottom one can you see the bottom one is times so times means here i'm going to combine them understand so that's why i said uh, this is a very interesting question that's why i i want to do a video for you to explain okay so you can keep this video for as as your reference anytime okay okay let me move on to the questions okay try to listen to my idea again one more time huh? Try to understand and then you try to implement the idea. Okay, good. Let me start. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change everything to the same base. Yeah, so I want to change everything to the same base. For example, 81 is a 3 power 4. 3 power 4. Uh, the, the, the index here is m plus 1. I'm going to just put beside this 4. m plus 1. Got it? Okay, plus 3. Okay, again, we can see a 9 inside there. So the 9 is actually 3 squared. Again, there is a 2m, so just put beside. Got it? Done, huh? Simple, right? Sorry. Okay, done. Okay, the bottom one is actually 3m minus 2 times... Okay, there's a 9 there. So 9, I want to change to 3 square. It's going to be 3 square with the m minus 1. Okay, equals to that value here is a 28 times 3n. 
Got it? Done. So far, okay, right? Okay, good. So now the next process, your next process. Okay. The next process is I want to try to implement the idea. Listen here. So I want to put it here first. Three, four. Okay, it's plus four. So three, three index four M plus four. Okay. Plus, okay, this three, I don't want to disturb with the three, four M. Okay, actually this, okay, never mind. I will do one by one. Three, actually I can combine, but I don't want to do. I will, I want to go step by step. Okay, so far, hope that you understand. Huh? Okay, so on top here, as I told you, right, I want to factorize. Okay, if you want to factorize, you must have the same terms for you to factorize. For example, right, is X, Y plus uh, X, Z. What are you going to factorize is the X because both sides must have the same thing, then we can factorize, right? Okay, here in case, in this case, can you see this one? I mean, uh, I use the, my highlighter here. So maybe you can see more clear. Can you see this one? Okay, this one actually equals to this one. So we can factorize this, but the problem here is the four here. You have to remove that four there, plus four from there. Okay, so let us try to do that one. Okay, listen, huh? Okay, I just want to explain so pretty easy for you. Okay, three, four M plus four, right? Okay, how are you going to do this? Actually three, four M, the plus here actually came from the times three, four, right? Ready? Right, the plus is actually came from the times. So what is the three power four? Three power four is 81. Is 81 with the three, four M. So this is 81, so put in front there. So I put in front, 81, I put in front with the bracket. Actually, the times and the bracket is the same. Understand? So normally, uh, a question, they wouldn't use times like this. They will put the 81 times uh, bracket with the 3 power M. The same, everything's the same. Understand? So I'm going to break this one. So it's going to be 81 with the 3, 4 M plus 3, 3, 4 M. Okay, as I told you just now, this is times we can combine because the base is already equal. So when you combine, you can plus. You see? Okay, on top. Okay, the bottom part, as I told you, right? Times and divide, we can combine. I already combined. But on top is, I'm going to factorize now. I'm going to take out the three power four with the index of 4m. So if I factorize means what will happen here is 81 at bottom. So 81 plus by 3. Because you already factorized but okay, never mind class. I can I think I have to do this side. Sorry. So I'm going to do factorize here. I'm going to put 3. Okay, this one we can solve, right? The whole thing can be solved. So it's M plus with 2M going to be 3M minus 4. Got it? So I think we're going to approach the answer ready class. Get ready to see the answer. Okay, now these two, we can still can combine these two. Why you can combine? Because this one and this one with the same base, the base are equal, they are, their base are equal. And then uh, we can divide. Divide means can combine as a minus, right? I told you, right? Okay, so you're going to be divide here. Divide going to be minus. Minus with the whole thing here. Okay, this one don't forget. You can put as a times here because bracket, I told you that bracket is a times. I can put as a uh, 84. Okay, so this one if you solve, you'll get uh, as a N minus uh, 90, 90 going to be plus 4. Okay, class, I think I have one small idea for you. Okay, this uh, 84, actually this 84 uh, came from 3 times 28. So maybe you're asking me, sir, why you need to change? Because I can see a 28 over here, right? I want to see a 28 over here. So I want to 
change the 84 into 3 times 24. Say 28. Okay, slowly. Eh? So all this idea, actually, you have to generate along the solution. You see, because why suddenly I changed the 84 into a 3 times 28 because I can see a 28 over here. So that's, uh, that's the reason I try to change. So now these two can be combined. Because this one is a 1, right? The index here 1. This, in this index is 1. This index is 1. So times going to be plus. So you're going to get 3 and plus 5. Sorry, class, it's not N, it's M. Huh? Sorry, M. M. Huh? So it's M plus 5 times 28 equals to 28 times with the 3N. You see, the both side is already equal, class. See, the 28, 28 is already equal. That means this whole thing also equal. So we can equal the index also, right? The index, this index, these two index can be equal. So this index. This index and this index can be equal because everything already same way. So if you take out that one, I think you already show the answer already class. So n equals to m plus 5. Understand? It's already shown. Done. Okay. So try to view this video. Try to understand slowly one by one. As I told you, please keep this time inside your mind. Times and divide in indices, we will combine. Times and divide, we will combine. Okay, plus and minus, we will factorize. See, I factorize from here, see? So this is a factorized method here. Understand, huh? please put this inside your mind. Okay, class? Okay, thank you, class. Thank you for watching my video. Hope that you uh, enjoyed the video. And make sure you share the video with all your friends. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.